Hey guys, I just want to do a quick overview of my Dub Alpha Academy PDR Pro Holster and a Blade Tech Revolution. Both of these are for Glock models. This one is the Blade Tech is actually specifically for the Glock 17. And the PDR Pro only comes in one size for Glock. And this fits up to a Glock 34. So here's a Glock 19. Fits. Covers ejection port, no barrel sticking out, so, nice solid retention. And here's a 17. Same thing, barrel doesn't stick out, covers ejection port. And here's a 34. Fits. The barrel sticks out just a tad but nothing to be concerned about and here's how it fits on a blade tech revolution here's the 19 same thing barrel doesn't stick out here's a 17 and here's a 34 as you see the 34 sticks out past the holster and the sight is unprotected but again this model is for the Glock 17 so it's not expected to cover the slide the revolution does come in a Glock 34 size so if you need to protect the whole pistol that's the one you want if you're shooting Glock 34 now this was my first holster I just needed for a local USPSA match and I didn't have a holster at the time so I picked this up it's uh, it was relatively cheap I picked this one up with a training barrel and a double mag pouch for like 45 bucks shipped so it was really affordable and I picked up the blade tech the DOH bracket and the tech lock clip that was like another $12 because uh, originally this comes with the adjustable stingray belt uh, it pretty much looks like this one has an adjustable clip so you can adjust it at what size belt you have. Here's a PDR Pro. <clears throat> this is my new holster because I'm actually giving the Blade Tech Revolution to my wife. I'm going to try to get her to start shooting USPSA too. So I think that would be fun. But anyways, the reason why I went with the PDR Pro is basically adjustability you can see it has a double jaw that clamps on this ball joint so you can adjust the holster any direction you want let me grab some tools all right I'm back I grabbed an allen wrench so I'll just give you an example Now the jaw clamp is loose now, so this holster, look at, the, look at the amount of adjustment you have with it. So any direction you want, which is pretty awesome. <clears throat> you can also adjust the ride height. And also you can adjust the ride height with these spacers. These spacers are so you can run <coughs> A wider belt if you need but if I put these spacers on top the holster would actually sit higher and so forth so there's a lot of customization you can do and also it has these screws so you can adjust it for a forward cant or an FBI cant or sorry a rear cant <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down this clamp ball joint screw again Now I'm not sure if it's exactly where I want it because you can actually adjust it on your body so it's pretty nice. <coughs> Has a thumb screw adjustment so you can tighten it down pretty good. It's nice and snug. Or you can loosen all the way to where it'll just holster by itself just with gravity. Obviously, these are not safe.
you'd want to DQ during a match because your pistol fell out. So you just have to use your own judgment. And one one big difference with the Blade Tech is how it holsters and draws. With the PDR Pro, when you reholster, it doesn't quite have a well-defined click, but on the draw, it's a lot smoother. I think that's due to the trigger guard mode. <coughs> the PDR Pro is a lot more rounded, so it goes in easier, and but it comes out easier as well. And here's the Blade Tech. You see it's a little more squared. So when you reholster, you get a nice solid defined click. But on the draw, it makes it a little bit harder because there's more of a sharp angle to clear the trigger guard. It's just something to keep in mind. But all in all, it looks like a pretty well built holster and uh, we'll see how it shoots next week at a local match. Thanks for watching.